What about the person who appears to avoid responsibility? Uh, they've always got somewhere else to be. They're not really present. They don't seem to be using their initiative. And there are many, many reasons for this. I think that the first thing we need to do is kind of get close to them in a way and understand what it is that they need out of the job. Um, the other thing that I think can happen early on with particularly with junior or younger people is they haven't basically been acculturated, they haven't basically been trained in how to be at work. Um, if they haven't been encouraged in previous jobs or previous positions to actually use their initiative, or worse, if they've been actively discouraged, they may just be playing safe the whole time. Before we start judging people as not being team players or not having initiative, I think we need to know a little bit more about them. But it's probably safer to make the assumption that they haven't been told. They haven't been coaxed or coached into the position as to what their roles and rights and responsibilities actually are. I've seen it happen in lots of organizations that people come into work, start a new job, they learn from the culture. They learn, they're expected to learn by osmosis. If they have a good um, induction process and the person doing the induction is good, uh, then okay, all well and good. But very often they're just tagged onto somebody and they pick up their ideas about how to work from the person they're associated with. Be very careful if you're bringing people into a company and you want them to work the company way, make sure that the person who's training them actually understands the company way and is modeling the behavior you'd like your new recruits to display.